Well, good morning, everyone, and happy hump day. Today's segment's going to be uh, a little bit shorter than usual because I have very little to talk about other than the tarot readings. Um, but uh, let me see. Uh, before I forget about it, I want to give a shout out to Eddie, who does the channel Just Chaos. And his channel is just about anything. His panel and his chat members are normally lively and they're liable to say anything. So it's it's a really fun place to go. Eddie had just gotten out of the hospital, but I see he's back doing his videos again. So um, you all ought to go check him out. The link's posted below in the description. And yes, check check Eddie out. It's a lot of fun. I had gotten these a while back. They are actually barnacles. Like you would get off of a, a ship or a dock. And what these are... These were living creatures at one time, and they filter out stuff in the water. And I was hoping you know, to find some uh, magical properties of them, and I did, but very very little <laughs> so i can do this segment in just a matter of a few a few minutes here first of all uh one use of these which i thought was very interesting um the glue that uh, barnacles use to fasten themselves to ships and docks and whatever the ocean floor it inspired doctors to use glue to seal up wounds to heal faster i have found that very interesting it's it's not the same glue it's a different type but it inspired doctors to uh to figure out a way of uh, doing that so that your wounds could heal. Now, as for the magic part, I found one brief little reference to it. And it says the barnacle shell is useful in magic to filter out negativity. And that's it. If you deal in sea magic, which I don't, and if you're a sea witch, by chance, if that's your thing, please contact me in the comments below and uh, just tell me, please, if, if you know of any other uses uh, for these. They are really quite cool, and uh, I wouldn't want to destroy them or anything. And I certainly wouldn't think that you'd be able to smudge with these things. <laughs> I have no idea what you'd do with them. But, uh, yeah, I had ordered these online. I thought they were cool. And then when I got them, it's like, well, now what? <laughs> now what do I do with them? They're really pretty to look at, but... Uh, now what? <laughs> anyway, now I'm not doing a, really much of a segment today because I'm working on a video and it's based on a question one of our, our viewers had for me and I, I like the idea so I, I decided to go ahead with it and I'm, I'm, I'm getting enough information to pretty much make a whole video unto itself, possibly even a two-parter. Um, 
and it's it's very deep and in depth and i hope i don't bore anyone with my information because i'm planning a lot on it and anyway it brings us to this book while i was looking up some of these terminologies and everything i recalled that uh, someone had given me an encyclopedia of the paranormal and it it's got everything in it but unfortunately i can't find it <laughs> i think i had seen it before I, uh, albert brought the plants in for the winter and now that the plants are in, everything is so full and filled up that I can't get around like I, I used to. And I'm not sure where it's at. I'm going to continue looking for it. But in the meantime, I ran across this book that I thought was interesting and uh, that you might too. It's called Oddball Ointments, Powerful Potions and Fabulous Folk Remedies. And this is like a cure-all. And it does more than just cure. It has, well, it has magic abilities, too. It uh, talks about uh, love potions and you name it. So it's not like a typical trip to the pharmacy or anything like that. You're going to find all sorts of stuff in this book. And I'll have to start referring to it whenever I, I do some of my stuff. Um yeah, I just found that uh, very interesting, and I, I'd gotten it, and I, I don't think I've hardly cracked the book open, to be honest, since I've gotten it. But I'll have to now. So without further ado, let's get to... Uh, no. I should use that. It flipped over when I was shuffling. I don't know. What do you say? Do I use it? Yes? Okay. I heard some yeses out there. So, let's use this card for today. It's the Knight of Pentacles but don't you just love it whenever I have a but to say but it's the knight of pentacles but yep it's reversed so let me tell you what this card has to say. When the reverse Knight of Pentacles shows up in a reading, the traits that were once positive in the upright position are now taken to the extreme. You may feel stuck in your own routine and bored with everything that surrounds you. You may desire a change of scenery in order to avoid this tiring repetition. The Knight of Pentacles reverse could also indicate that you have totally ignored many serious aspects of your life. Financial or personal issues are often neglected in favor of work matters when this card appears reversed. You may be a driven and ambitious person who struggles to carry the weight of your responsibilities so much that you sacrifice your social life. Perhaps you can try taking more risks or spend more time with friends and loved ones. The Knight of Pentacles reverse is a strong indication that you need to change his way of living, lest you risk burnout and exhaustion. Now, for the love meaning, keywords are dull relationship, homebody, neglecting relationship. Wow. Someone needs to spice up their love life a bit, it sounds like. It may be that your love life is getting rather dull and stale lately. You may feel like a homebody that prefers their time alone rather than taking any emotional risks and face possible rejection amongst others. If you're in a relationship, you may feel a bit desperate for change. It may be that one of you spends too much time at work or all their energy on 
practical financial or career matters that don't prioritize the relationship. Make sure that the two of you carve out time in your busy lives just to be with one another or try something spontaneous to bring much needed breath of fresh air into your partnership. Career meaning. Are you lacking in ambition? Do you find that you have little motivation when it comes to work? One possible meaning of the reverse Knight of Pentacles is that you're not working hard enough to make your career dreams come true. Alternatively, you may be so obsessed with your career goals that you sacrifice everything to achieve them. Your love life may be in shambles, you may barely meet friends, and have all but forgotten close family members. Do you remember how to have fun? It may be better in the long run to develop a better work-life balance. Don't burn yourself out. Financially, wasting resources can be signaled by the Knight of Pentacles reverse tarot card meaning. Instead of being careful, you may be very impulsive with your purchases, finding out later that what you bought wasn't what you were hoping for or needed. Try and be more careful. Before you buy that big ticket item, do all your research. And with Black Friday coming up, that's a very good idea. Do your research. Don't feel bad about it later. And there we have it. That is our reading for today. I hope you all have a wonderful midweek hump day. Blessed be. Peace. Believe. And for heaven's sake, don't get your barnacles in a bunch. Bye-bye.